All the top stories and transfer rumors from Wednesday's national newspapers. The Sun. Manchester United are willing to take a £30 million hit on Anthony Marshall and Eric Bailly with both players available for cut price transfers. Anthony Marshall has returned to Manchester United after an unproductive loan spell with Sevilla. Marina Granovskaya is set to leave Chelsea with a £20 million bonus as new owner Todd Bowley prepares to take control of transfers. Manchester United Chief Executive Richard Arnold has been pictured having lunch with the club's former Chief Executive David Gill. Arsenal Technical Director Adu has teased yet more big signings in the coming weeks. Transfer Center Live Summer Transfer Window 2022 Done Deals Premier League ins and outs. Get Sky Sports, download the Sky Sports app. Daily Mail. Manchester United are set to keep Harry Maguire but will look to sign a new centre back if they can offload Eric Bailly, Phil Jones or Axel Tuansby this. Bruce Buck and Marina Granovskaya are set to lose out on a significant part of the £50 million package agreed with new owner Todd Bowley for their work on the Salih off Chelsea as it was tied to them continuing at Stamford Bridge after the takeover. Chelsea director Marina Granovskaya, left, and chairman Bruce Buck, right, are stepping back from their roles. Arsenal on Tuesday night made their opening bid for Leeds winger Rafinha though it is understood to be below his £60 million price tag. Fulham are preparing a £10 million bid for Liverpool defender Nico Williams as they look to fend off Nottingham Forest and Southampton. The FA has admitted they had to pay clubs to host matches for the women's Euros after very few cities came forward during the bidding process. The row over transgender inclusion is splitting sports worldwide with FIFA among those reviewing their policy on trans players. Daily Telegraph. Manchester United have held talks over a potential move for Ajax forward Antony but are waiting for a breakthrough in negotiations with Barcelona for Frenkie de Jong before advancing other deals. Manchester United have held talks over a potential move for the Ajax forward Antony. Raheem Sterling hopes to resolve his future within the next two weeks with Chelsea, Barcelona and Real Madrid interested. Arsenal are hoping the £34 million signing of Fabio Vieira will help them land another of their main transfer targets, Rafinha, this summer. The Premier League faces an unprecedented shortfall in experienced referees next season after Kevin Friend became the fourth long-serving official to quit the top flight this summer. Yorkshire's last four chairmen have launched an extraordinary attack on the England handling of the club's racism scandal and demanding an independent inquiry into the whole affair. Daily Mirror Sadio Mane has admitted as soon as he heard about interest from Bayern Munich, his heart was set on the move. Sadio Mane is set to leave Liverpool for Bayern Munich. Ajax will not allow Eric Ten Hag's plan to rebuild Manchester United lead to a mass exodus of the players he left behind in Amsterdam. Manchester United's bid to sign Frenkie de Jong has stalled over tough financial rules imposed on Barcelona by La Liga. Leeds are planning for Calvin Phillips likely switch to Manchester City by moving for RB Leipzig's Tyler Adams. Tottenham have stepped back from their bid for Christian Eriksen as they concentrate on other additions. Daily Star. Chelsea once turned down the opportunity to sign Kylian Mbappe because of concerns about his defensive abilities. The representatives of Jules Koundé are reportedly frustrated at a lack of contact from Chelsea and have given new Blues chief Todd Bowley an ultimatum. Regarding transfer talks, the representatives of Jules Koundé are reportedly frustrated at a lack of contact from Chelsea. Aaron Ramsey has reportedly been offered a career lifeline by former Juventus manager Andrea Pirlo with Turkish club Fatih Karagumrik. Mesut Özil wants to continue playing for his childhood love Fenerbahce. Chelsea and Tottenham have learned their centre-half target Alessandro Bastoni plans to stay at Inter Milan. Chelsea and Tottenham have learned their centre-half target Alessandro Bastoni plans to stay at Inter Milan. Daily Record. Rangers will be able to land transfer target Antonio Kolic for a bargain fee this summer with PAOK desperate to move the striker on this summer. Fullback Alexandro Bernabai is moving closer to a deal with Celtic with a verbal agreement in place with Lannis.